if I'm saying this, but there is actually a decent foot miss card out. There's this Edison Cavani. He's low rated, and I needed to get rid of an Anthony Lopez because I packed a duplicate untradeable one. So you can see we're just getting rid of a whole bunch of garbage that has no use to us, and we're going to get Cavani out of this. They finally, they finally have listened, and they've released some decent SPCs. Anaki Williams is one rating higher, and his card also looks very saucy. And it's great that this guy's walking out because that just makes it even better. But my first foot miss card I've actually completed, and he's going to be our striker, I think, for this weekend league. We're going to have to give him a try, and we're going to see how it goes. But I'm just so happy. And now we can put Lopez in the club as well. And yeah, we're going to get literally right into a squad battler standard around this Cavani card playing at striker. We'll see if we can get him in. Like, if we can literally just slot him right in. If not, I also have players that I can play instead of Paulinho. We can get him in on 7. Paulinho's on 6. At the end of the day, that's not that big of a deal to me. He's high, high. You probably want to put something on him for his pace. I might just throw a Hawk. Actually, no. I think an engine might be better. Just help the agility and balance a little bit. Let's, let's, get a, let's get an engine on him. I'm not actually looking. That's just from me just thinking off the top of my head to see. But it's nice to have a new striker in the team. You can see my failed Hawk investment. That's slowly, slowly being sold. Engine on him there. Going to boost all those things he's a little bit lacking. And I do love that he's got a four-star weak foot. The high highs, a bit interesting. But hey, we're going to have some fun, I hope. And I feel like he's going to be like one of those Harry Kane or Lewandowski players. Just get him around the box and just let him power it into the net, basically. Got our fitness good and everything like that. You're also going to get a little bit of Tiago Mendes link as well, which is also another great idea that they actually released this Cavani, even though I believe it was leaked and everything like that, because of the link potential there. So what I might do for my next play is put uh, Tiago Mendes up at the cam roll just for the time being, and then in-game switch him just to see if that helps the cam a little bit. And we are playing... A nice, nice team with plenty of icons. So this will be a test to see how well he does perform against the big dogs. And you can see Tagliafico is in this guy's team, which I also have. And is a decent card there, but I like my Marcelo, so I'm going to stick with him for the time being. But yeah, it's really, really going to be a great, a great test to see. So what we're basically going to do, we're going to do like the Martinez thing. We're just going to try to sweat it to Gavani as much as possible. So I know he's not the greatest dribbling wise, but we still will try to feel it out and everything like that and you can already tell that he's going to be a big a big player up front which I have not used in a while I usually don't care for big players but I need to get rid of the 85 and I uh, was able to do it with a whole bunch of just junk that's in the club I now I know it still goes for whatever the SBC price is but I didn't have to go out of my own pocket and spin anything which is nice for a free 89 rated striker which if we don't end up liking him down the line this guy is pounding it down my throat basically but uh if we don't end up liking it we can always use him for SBCs and yeah you can see there he made a nice run so he's got that going for him so far we just gotta work it around okay in the box deadly against Nesta deadly oh that's more user error than Cavani error. But he can definitely do the drag backs. Let's go, Ter Stegen. Boom. A little 1 2 action, maybe. Let's go for it. Let's try it. Over the top, it's not going to work against an icon Nesta, but it was definitely worth a try. But we definitely need to get him get him some looks. If we don't get him some looks, we'll definitely play a second game as well. Uh, I do need to finish the G-Bam in it also. But I need Prem. I need to do the lob stuff. I did uh, Tiago Mendes and him at the same time. And yeah, his passing feels very nice. Short passing. I didn't even take a look at what it is. But it definitely feels nice. Ooh, that was our pass. Ooh, nice run. Oh, but he didn't... Martinez didn't make the pass that I wanted him to make, though. Would have been forcing it, but hey. Boom. 
little 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 bit of work in the box there couldn't quite get him into the position we wanted but I didn't want to take a risk doing a skill and totally blowing possession he does feel nice on the ball his short passing is good we haven't had a chance to feel his shots out or anything or his long passing yet but definitely might be a card you guys want to pick up especially since it's finally cheap but it also could help you get out of some 83s if you're invested in them because I feel like a decent amount of people will do it because we finally got a reasonably priced SPC Good save, Ter Stegen, bailing us out over and over again. But what we could do is, well, I was going to switch Paulinho, but I really don't have, he's probably my best of between Allen, Thiago Mendes, and Paulinho. He's probably the best attacking-minded one, so I think we'll, we'll keep him at the left cam roll for the time being. Oh, this is well worked by this guy. See, I think what we're going to have to do is if we keep using him is maybe put him on stay forward just because of his work rates. We want him to not track back as much. Oop, that was, that was on me because we're trying to force it to him. It's not always going to be the prettiest. Pretty sure my attacking formation is still the for same thing, but it might be able to push, push us forwards more. Ooh, he's getting close, and that's a bad pass by me. Ooh, it's still squeezed through. See if I would have got more on it. That would have been great. Some great looks. For Cavani. Can we get a step? Yeah, good. Good stuff there. It's been more of a defensive bout than attacking for me. Come on, Martinez. Oh, I was trying to get him. I didn't want him to leave it. I wanted him to chop it back the other way and love driven at that near post. But that was me not thinking about the button I was pressing was going to let him lead it through. Is that really a foul? Come on, ref. But yeah, Tiago Mendes feels decent. This is like my second game with him as well. And you can see he's definitely helping keeping the clean sheet alive we are really struggling in the midfield though like passing wise oh okay we tackled him but it didn't even he just <laughs> but even if like we don't get a lot of opportunities with Cavani what he has done so far, he's felt very, very, very good doing. And I think it's Martinez letting us down. Because I'm just trying to get some little one-twos going. But it seems like every time Cavani gets it to Martinez, Martinez fluffs the pass or something like that. If you can see. Ooh. Oh, Cavani got bumped. I was about ready to power that and just see if we could blow it by the keeper. Because, I mean, you guys want to know if this guy can finish, not as much as if he can just sweat it across the goal to Martinez, who just taps it in. So heading, he definitely can win some headers, that's for sure. <laughs> Basically won the first header, which set up his second header, which he would have won. We just didn't have time to follow the rest of it out. And I think we're going to bring Paulinho off, and we're just going to bring on Dembele just to try to get more going and for some reason we had Allen up top in our attacking setup but that'll give us more pace going down the wings which may be able to like whip in crosses and or slot it across to Cavani to finish some goals 
Boop. Need to work on passing harder with Martinez. Sometimes I just don't get enough on it at all. Cavani. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> just a little layoff. And first shot. I mean, it's a goal. He has 88 shooting. His finishing's like 90. So if you get him in the box and around the goal, he should just be a clinical, clinical finisher for you. Uh, I didn't get. I didn't check his composure, so that might be something you want to look at before doing him. Uh, but there he had defenders coming at him from behind, and he was still calm, cool, and collective. Oh, I tried to sweat it and get him in the assist. This basically would have been a similar goal to last time, just a little, little overlap play, and that's a great ball by him. Luis Alberto is outpacing PK. It's a good thing he took too many touches there. And let's see if we can go now. Oh, that's a bad pass by Dembele, but Cavani wins it back because they just passed it right to him. So we're just full of bad passes today. Boop. Boop. Back to him. Can we cut in? Oh, I was hoping I could get around him because then we could work it, the ball over to Cavani in a second. Feels great on the ball. And he can dribble a little bit. He's just not like a... It's not like a Mertens or anything like that where he can just go all day long. Oh! Oh, I was going to try to chip it up over. <laughs> a little ball pop up and just go for a volley. Oh, that's a great work by him. Ter Stegen somehow bails me out again, but then doesn't get back in, kick the ball. So that was a little weird there, but nonetheless, it's all good. That medium range pass was decent and he makes a good run. Touch around the defender, draws the foul. Then almost wins the ball back. I mean, he's playing great. My whole team as a whole is not playing the best, especially on this defensive end. His pace is just killing me. But he definitely, definitely feels like a good good striker. And we, I think we're definitely going to give him a try this weekend, League. And I just felt he was better value for money than Martinez. Or not Martinez, than Anaki Williams because he uh, was a little bit cheaper. And it just helped going with the League One because you needed a Paris player. So I just kind of went with a League One theme a bit for the squad. And it's definitely, 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 I think, worth worth your time. Especially if you have untradeables. Like, the how cheap an 83 squad is, even if you're not. And you surely you have foot champs players if you play this game a lot. Or uh, team of the week players that you could use. Like, I just use some red picks. And Cavani makes a great run. I don't know if he's got the pace. Oh, ho, ho. I tried to do the little twirl where you, like, pivot and spin. It was so close to working, though. But he's working his way into great opportunities here. And let's just let's just have a long shot. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh. Ooh. Maybe if I would have timed it, you never know. But it looked good from over here. May have not been as close as I feel like it is, but it felt good going off the foot. And there's not much more you can ask for. Sometimes they go in, sometimes they don't. I do like, I guess it's his high high, that he drops back in a little bit and he shows for the ball. Little shot fake. Uh, oh, and the strength for him to get the assist. Yep, assist Cavani. You saw the strength. You saw him body that man. Off the ball. Is this man going to rage? It's the 77th. You might as well just stick around. Okay, yeah, he's going to... Oh, nope. I thought he was going to sub. But this Cavani, I think, is definitely worth your time. We've only played a game with him, so it's a short time. We only took three shots, two of which were with Cavani, but we were just trying to focus on getting Cavani the ball in areas and be able to feel him and stuff like that. And if we're going to rate him, I would give him probably at least an 8 out of 10. He could use a little more pace, so he could like blow past defenders and things like that, but you could saw his strength there at the end when he pulled that assist off he just bodied the defender and passed it so his passing i haven't tried any long passes or crosses with him yet but a short to medium range passing feels great 
his shooting. Uh, we took two shots. First one was an easy goal. We had a great opportunity he created. He gets into, I will check his attack positioning, but he gets into great, great opportunities, basically. And it's just a really, really good card. And obviously, it's also nice that you can do Tiago Mendes and have a good midfielder that links to him. And you can see there, one game played, one goal, one assist. And we forced a rage quit. So thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.